everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you five steps to fix your PlayStation 5 that won't turn on. Now for step one, go ahead and locate your PlayStation 5, turn it around, and disconnect it from the wallet, and leave it unplugged for approximately one minute. Now unplug the rest of the cables as well, your HDMI, your LAN cable, and any USB devices, and leave everything unplugged for at least one minute. Now with everything plugged back in, rotate your PlayStation 5 around and press the physical power button and see if this turns on your device. Now for step two, locate where your PlayStation 5 is plugged into a power source and plug it directly into a wall outlet or go ahead and try plugging it into a different wall outlet. Now for step three, locate a DVD, Blu-ray or a game disc and try to put it into the disc drive on your PlayStation 5 and you'll notice a beep and your PlayStation 5 will turn on. Also, you can locate a USB cable just like this and plug it directly into the front of the PlayStation 5 and then plug the other end into your controller and press the PlayStation button. This can also force turn on your PlayStation 5. So let's press this button. Then another thing you can do is locate the physical button right here and press this down numerous times and then try holding it down to see if you can get your PlayStation 5 to turn on. Then for step four, go to the back of your TV or monitor. Go to a different HDMI slot on your TV. So if you have the plugged into HDMI one, go to HDMI two, three, or four. Otherwise you can try using a completely different cable or flip your existing cable around so the TV end is plugged into your PlayStation 5. Now for step five, there could be an issue with the resolution on your PlayStation 5 and it's not compatible with the TV. So what you want to do is boot your PlayStation 5 into the safe mode menu. So to enter the safe mode menu, you want to completely turn off your PlayStation 5. So you can turn it around and then unplug it from the wallet and then you can plug it back in and just make sure your PlayStation 5 is completely turned off. It's not in rest mode and it's not orange or blinking right here. Then hold down the power button. You will hear one beep initially and then about 10 to 15 seconds later, you will hear another beep. And this will start your PlayStation 5 into the safe mode menu. To operate the safe mode menu, you do need a USB cable plugged into your PlayStation 5 and then the other end plugged into the controller. Then press the PlayStation button. So connect the controller using the USB cable and then press the PlayStation button. Now this menu will display and you can go to option number two, change video output. And then you can go to change resolution and change it to a compatible resolution on your TV so you can actually get a signal or an image. Otherwise, you can go to option number two, change HDCP mode and see if this makes a difference. You can go to HDCP 1.4 only. Then you can back out of here and you can go to option number three, repair console storage and then go to yes. Otherwise go to update system software and then you can go to option number two, update using the internet. So then you can go to restore default settings, clear cache and rebuild database. Go to option number two right here. And otherwise the last option on here is reset PS5 and this will reset your PlayStation 5 like it was new. Everything will be deleted, your users, your accounts, etc. But this should fix your PlayStation 5 as a last resort. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out, did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six studios.